on this week's episode of Make It With Calvin. I'll show you guys how to turn this on a metal disc into one of these sweet little third hand tools. So let's hope second time's a charm. I decided I would give the third hand tool one more try. I just had my CNC machine stop engraving me a disc, which is the weight right here, which has my name on it strictly because I can. And also so that way, if I took it somewhere, everybody knows it's mine, it's not gonna run away. So what I've already done off camera, cause it's a little bit tricky, is I've lined up my pieces of steel that are for the frame. I'm gonna come along with my flex core MIG welder and hopefully just lay a nice little tack bead in there. Go grab the disc off the CNC mill and then we can attach this to the disc. It's really quite a simple project and I think it's a really good one as sort of like a beginner's, I'm getting into metalworking project as this is a tool that you will use a ton. But I digress, let me go get the part and I'll be right back. Check that out. Yeah, that's gonna look pretty sweet on top. So let me go ahead, throw my hood on, tack this in place, and I'll get right back with you guys. Okay, took a little bit of finagling, but we have ourselves the triangle. This is really the heart of the third hand tool. So now what we can do is we can take my wonderful little disc right here and I'm gonna try and do my best to line everything up. My previous attempt, the whole thing was cocked and by the time I realized it, I laid a little, laid a little too much weld by accident like an idiot. So let's hope I've kind of learn from my mistake there and line things up a little bit better. So let me do that, tack it in place and show you guys. One other really helpful tip, grind a flat spot onto your metal. Doesn't need to be much, but you will thank yourself for it. So now that I've got it lined up like that, let me come along and line my weight up as best as I can. And it doesn't need to be anything perfect, but you know, I want this to look nice. And I'll come along and tack it, and then lay a little bit of weld on the other side. Okay, three tiny tacks later, and the weight is on there. We're obviously gonna want a little more than that though, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a few tacks on the backside, and that'll be done. Then the next step will be obviously bending the legs. All right, being this is a flux core process, the welds are a little bit ugly, but nothing a little bit of wire brushing and slag chipping can't do. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply a tack in the middle right there, and then we will clean up out here, move to where my oxy rig is, and actually go ahead and bend the legs into shape. <laughs>
All right, you guys might remember this from the sign video and a couple of others, but here we are in the side room and this guy is ready to have the legs bent, if you will. So what I'm gonna do is probably about an inch approximately from the end. I'm gonna potentially bend those, yeah, I'm gonna bend those guys down and then about an inch from the end on this side, I'm gonna bend this side down. The bends don't have to be perfect, but the more accurate they are, the better. So let me go ahead and fire up my oxy rig and bend them, and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so now, it's kind of hard to see because this thing is still really, really hot, but now effectively we have the little feet bent. So at this point, it's probably done. I definitely need to come along on the, whoops, burning my glove there. Definitely need to come along on the underside and clean off all the flexi crap and things like that. Um, I'm thinking also gonna hit it with a scotch bright wheel real quick just to knock off any sharp edges and things but effectively at this point it is done one thing i might do um is for fun where the feet are i picked up some 200 series brass balls off of ebay and the thought behind doing that is it makes it look cooler and also hopefully would make the feet non-marring if it was on a surface that i was concerned about also, it might provide better electrical conductivity if I was to use it in a TIG welding application as a secondary ground. But being that I only do MIG welding and torch brazing slash potential welding at this point, I really don't think that's necessary. So I probably won't end up doing that. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Make It With Calvin. If you did, please let me know. Sorry if it's still a little hard for me to try and like show every single step, but Really, when it comes to this project, it's very much a do what looks good for you and it should work out fine. Um, I'm probably going to be doing some videos in the near future where you are going to be seeing me using these third hand tools quite a lot. So it will definitely make a lot more sense and hopefully you can build your own if you want to. I highly recommend it as a spare time project or say somebody you know wants to try out welding. It's a really good way to get them started out and it's a very, very useful tool. I will see you guys next time here on Make It With Calvin. And as for me, I think I should clean up in here. It's a bit of a mess.